singers. It's Justin Stoney, the founder of New York Vocal Coaching, here with you for another episode of Quick Singing Tips. Today, I'm joining you from the world-famous Madison Square Garden. The Garden is one of New York's premier facilities for sports, music, and entertainment. It's also where the New York Knicks like to lose most of their games. That's right, I said it. And I've always been an obsessive fan of NBA basketball. In fact, when I was six years old, I had the dream to one day make it in the NBA. When they told me I was too short, I cried. And even though the Knicks are still begging for my basketball talent, my setbacks as a six-year-old basketball star led me to discovering my true calling in life. Which leads us to today's question from Roshni B. in Bangladesh, India. Roshni asks, Dear Justin, how do I discover my calling as a singer? Well, Roshni, I absolutely adore this question. I believe that everyone has a calling in life. And once you discover your calling, nothing and no one can stop you from living each day with passion and purpose. When I found out that these wee little hands weren't meant to shoot a basketball, I trained them to play the piano. Later, this inspired me to train my vocal cords to sing. Eventually, it led me to the Big Apple, where I discovered my real calling, helping others to find their voices and discovering their callings. My calling puts me in the business of dreams coming true. I've had students play big arenas like this one, make it down the street to the Broadway stage, or release albums. Other students just want to sing on key, overcome stage fright, or sing to their spouse at their wedding. So whether you're playing the garden or singing in the shower, I believe there's one calling in your life that you can be sure of. You're calling to sing. Why am I so sure? Because after teaching about 20,000 voice lessons to thousands of singers from over 60 countries, I've never met an individual that I thought, you know, this person should not be singing. So how do you find your vocal calling? I'll give you a strategy so simple, you can't miss it if you try. Step one, follow your joy. Every calling in life is birthed by joy. Your singing should be something that feeds the most joyful part of you. If your vocal life brings you some joy, even just a little bit, you're on the right track. Step two, work hard, play hard. You know you're living out your calling if you desire to work at it constantly. Every spare minute, you're working on it. But here's the key. It doesn't feel like hard work. It feels like play. Work hard, play hard. Work and play can be the same thing. Step three, don't idolize your goals. Set goals for yourself, but don't bash yourself when you fall short. If you miss a goal, don't get stuck. Simply set a new one and get right back on track. Remember, your calling is not an achievement of goals. Your calling is a way of life. Step four, let your calling find you. Your calling might not be exactly what you thought. Follow your joy, but also let yourself be pleasantly surprised when your calling is slightly different and slightly more awesome than you expected. Step five, understand the truth about your voice. The truth is, you're the only human being that sounds like you, and you're the only person that can say what you have to say. Callings come to those who believe this. If you believe you have something to say to the world, and if you believe you're the only one that can say it, then what can I say? You found your calling, and nothing can stop you. So, Roshni, if you're singing today, I trust that you're going to be singing even better tomorrow. Every day will lead you to the next step on your vocal calling. Here's some other next steps for your vocal journey. For voice lessons or Skype lessons with the NYVC staff, visit us at NewYorkVocalCoaching.com. If you'd like a vocal course that you can do at home, check out the Voice Lessons to the World Vocal Course. This 12-part program takes you on a singing journey from beginner to master level vocal exercises. You can find it at voicelessonstotheworld.com. Or if you'd like free vocal tips sent to you each day, sign up at dailyvocaltips.com. And now, here's Justin with this week's vocal benediction. If you're Steph Curry or you're Billy Joel, you've started losing track how many times you've played the garden. But it doesn't matter, really. What matters is that you understand that life is short and you do have a calling. And the one calling you can trust is your calling to sing. It's time to listen to the call. Starting at point guard for the New York Knicks, Justin Stone.